oh my god, what an incredible way to end the year, right? A new Star Wars movie, Star Wars Force Awakens. Guys, it's me, Stuntman Jake, I'm back once again and I'm bringing to you my first ever movie review from space. Check it out, I'm, uh, I'm cosplaying as Han Solo to bring you my review and impressions of The Force Awakens. Now, did you like the movie? I went in looking at this movie very excited. I thought it looked amazing, but I was cautiously optimistic because I remember how burned I was for the prequels. I was excited for episode one, okay? I remember when episode one came out, I took a day off from work, okay? I went to the theater, I was at the premiere the very first day, I went during the day, I felt embarrassed to be in the theater. Okay, the prequels were an atrocity. When I heard that J.J. Abrams was making the new ones, I saw the previews, I thought this looks amazing. I actually saw the movie twice over the weekend, I was really excited. So the movie looked amazing, but I have to tell you, I didn't like it. Now, I'm gonna give you my impression of the movie and there's gonna be spoilers, so, you know, if you haven't seen the movie, why don't you go out and see the movie? You need to see it. I recommend that you see it, especially if you're a Star Wars fan like I am, obviously cosplaying as Han Solo here, the best space captain ever, right? So I tell you what, if you haven't seen the movie, go out and see it. I'll wait, I'll hold my review until you get done. The movie's two and a half hours. So, uh, all right, I'll, I'll wait, go ahead. Okay, so now everybody's seen the movie, right? Everybody's seen it by now. If you haven't, you're not a real Star Wars fan. I'm gonna come right out and say it. I didn't like it. The movie kind of felt a little rushed. The story was totally lacking. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm talking about. First of all, as everybody's been saying, this was a rehash of Star Wars A New Hope. Lawrence Kasdan helped write the script. You would think he could come up with something better than this. What this felt like to me was not Star Wars The Force Awakens. This felt like Star Wars Episode Seven, the first draft, okay? It didn't seem like they were putting a lot of effort into any character development. These characters absolutely did not work. I'm gonna start right off with uh, the most obvious one, John Boyega's character of Finn. In the movie, he's supposed to be a stormtrooper. He didn't act like a stormtrooper. This is not a criticism of John Boyega. This is a criticism of his character. His character reminded me a lot of when Han Solo and Luke Skywalker in episode four stole the stormtrooper uniforms and were masquerading as stormtroopers. His character struck me more like that. He didn't act like a stormtrooper. He acted like a nervous, lost kid. I mean, he was raised his entire life as a stormtrooper. He didn't act like one. Of course, the other obvious criticism is Rey. She spent her whole life as a scavenger and yet somehow She's an awesome fighter. She can beat the crap out of anybody, even two people attacking her at once. And she mysteriously knows everything about how the, the Millennium Falcon works. She even fixes it on the fly in the heat of battle. I, how, did, how did she learn all this stuff? But in the original movies, you know, Luke Skywalker had the Force too, but he had to go through training to develop it. He was not able to use any of his Jedi ability until he went through Jedi training. You know, she goes, hey, hey, you know, I think I got the Force. Uh, Hey, uh, undo my restraints and uh, leave your weapon. She's never wielded a lightsaber before and she's able to kick this guy's ass. Now for my criticism of Han Solo. Okay, and this is, this is where the movie really could have been a lot better. Um, Han Solo's character didn't evolve. It didn't even evolve from 20 years ago from his last expedition, his last outing as Han Solo. When Rey and Finn first find him, he's Han Solo, he's dressed pretty much like this. What's he doing? He's smuggling. They ask him, hey, aren't you Han Solo? And he says, I used to be. No, you didn't used to be. You still are. And what I'm getting at is that this would have been a lot more powerful if they had found Han Solo, not as Han Solo. More like in some kind of a retirement mode. Maybe he was just, uh, you know, traveling on, on a ship or something, and they find him, and, and they, they should have had it. Let me tell you what they should have done, is they should have established when they first met Han Solo, he shouldn't have been anything like his old self, okay? They should have had him not hanging out with Chewbacca and not smuggling. I, I don't know doing what, maybe traveling on a ship or something, they could have, you know, crossed paths with him there. You know, should have had him completely dressed different, should have re reimagined his costume completely, and then, 
when they ask him, you know, hey, aren't you Han Solo? And he said, yeah, I used to be. Then that would make sense. Like he's retired from smuggling. Then they could have said, hey, you know, listen, uh, you know, we found the Millennium Falcon. You know, we need your help. And he could have had, going back to the Joseph Campbell rules of mythology, could have had the refusal of the call, which is important for a hero of development. He could have said, no, look, I'm not doing that anymore. And then the characters would have to say, look, you know, you don't understand. There's this giant Death Star. It's blowing up planets all, all the time. You know, we need your help. We, we've got to confront them. Then maybe they could have contacted Princess Leia to help convince him. And then Princess Leia could have revealed to Han Solo because said, hey, look, you know, we're going up against Kylo Ren. And guess what? He's your son. Then Han Solo would say, wow, you know, this is my son. This is my opportunity to, to face him and, and to bring him back to the good side. You know, I didn't know this was my son that was doing all this stuff. Okay, I'm in. You know, then he, he dons the vest or the leather jacket. You know, he gets the old DL-44 and then he's on board. You know, he takes control of the Millennium Falcon. He says, before we go on this mission, I gotta go find Chewbacca. Who, you know, maybe he finds out that Chewbacca has been uh, arrested and thrown in some kind of prison or he's on a slave planet or something. So we got a little sub-adventure there. We have to go rescue you know, Chewbacca, team up once again, and then team up with the rest of the people to go confront Kylo Ren. That would have been a character arc, you see? Would have brought him out of retirement and back to his old self. You know, something like that would have been great in the movie. It would have made it a lot more compelling. But what we get instead is a movie that has no character development and no character arc. Did I hate the movie? No, I didn't hate it like I hated the prequels, but that's setting the bar pretty low. Now, ultimately, here's, here's the other thing. The, the movie was uh, a rehash of A New Hope, okay? With a little bit of uh, Return of the Jedi thrown in there for good measure. They send 20 X-Wings to go blow up a giant Death Star. But we're asked to, to, to sit through this again. We're gonna have another Death Star get blown up. How did they blow it up? With a trench run. It felt like it was a first draft that needed some development, like the characters needed development. That's my opinion of the new Star Wars movie. I'm sorry to say that I didn't love it, um, but I am looking forward to the new movies. This was good, but it wasn't great because we got more movies coming, obviously. I mean, the, the, the movie debuted, it's not even that good, and it made, uh, I checked on the internet, it was $750 billion on opening night. That, that was just the first few screenings that they made, a lot of money. So they're obviously gonna make more movies. My question now is gonna be, okay, this is established that they're gonna reinvent the franchise. Can these characters carry the new films by themselves? If this is all the character development that we're gonna expect, my answer is no, they can't. From what I understand, you know, there's all this talk about spin-offs, standalone movies. If they're gonna do a standalone movie for Han Solo, my pick to play Han Solo is Anthony Ingruber. You guys can check out his video. He has uh, like audition uh, videos that he's done on YouTube and his Han Solo impression is absolutely the best anywhere. He does an amazing Harrison Ford impression that's uh, just uncanny, really. You've gotta check out his YouTube channel. Check out his celebrity impressions. I've never seen anything quite like it. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. If you haven't seen it, go check it out, but don't just you know, say, hey, it's great just because it's Star Wars, okay? Anyway, may the force be with you, always. Hey, don't forget that my Reddit goggles are still for sale. They make fantastic Christmas gifts. If you don't have time to buy them for Christmas this year, maybe for next year. They make great gifts for any occasion, really, especially like a birthday or something like that. If you want to see a great movie with great character development, great character arcs, any three of the Riddick movies are perfect examples of what I'm talking about. Go check them out. Let me know what you think. Happy holidays. Thanks for watching.